I love Rajasthan because this is quintessential India at its best. It's full of soaring forts, glistening palaces, women wearing jewel coloured saris. It's an area of amazing natural beauty, so you've got wonderful countryside, you've got national parks and you've got deserted deserts. So I love Rajasthan just because of the vibrant, mad city. So colourful, fantastic food and then in between these cities you've got these really beautiful rural gems. Travelling to rural Rajasthan is a real highlight, so you can go and stay with a local family in one of their beautiful old ancestral homes or fortified palaces. It's a really wonderful way to learn about the colonial history of the area and also escape the cities. There's also Ranthambore National Park, um, which lots of people don't know about, and that's home to a really dense population of tigers where you can go out on morning and evening jeep safaris. And you've also got places like Jawai Leopard Camp, which has a really amazing population of leopard. One of my highlights of Rajasthan has to be Udaipur. It's a really beautiful place filled with lakes, really different from any other Indian city, a lot more chilled out and a great place to chill out at the end of a trip around Rajasthan. I personally really love Jodhpur. It's a blue city, it's got tiny winding streets that are completely luminous and I really recommend going with your guide, getting off the back streets maybe visiting some of the local markets, going in to see some um, local people and perhaps having a cookery lesson. It's the most extraordinary place also to have sundowners overlooking the fort. Most people's introduction to Rajasthan is first of all looking at the Golden Triangle, which obviously links very, very well together. So starting off in Delhi, heading down to Agra, then linking into Jaipur, and from there they just want more of Rajasthan. The best time of year to go to Rajasthan, I would say, is between October and March. It's generally quite cool and crisp, it means it's really good pouring weather so you don't get too hot during the day. This is also an amazing time for bird life, particularly in December and January where you get huge migration coming into the rural areas. Travelling with Imagine India to Rajasthan makes life really easy, so everything's really straightforward and completely designed around you. We've designed some incredible experiences. They could be from visiting pottery artists, to seeing local sword makers, to going out on incredible jeep journeys. And our specialists are able to design the trips completely around your interests. It also takes out all the hassle, so you don't have to think about booking trains or booking transfers. You tell me exactly what you would like to see and do out there and I will put it on paper and get it done for you. So we know exactly what's right for each guest that comes and travels with us.